Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Um, actually, this is going to be my last and official den- or not denizen, sorry. Libs Disguises tutorial because, um, as many of you know, I had to go away for a while, and I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm trying to get back into the flow of things. It's taking a lot to do, but I'm definitely still going to try because you guys have been supporting me constantly, even during my time away. Some of you have been, like, super helpful in my Discord, kind of helping me run things smoothly and helping out other players as well as, you know, kind of, like, just checking in on me here and there. And I can't say how much I actually appreciate all of that. So I think I got lucky with having the community that I made. Um, you guys have been absolutely outstanding. So now that we're past that uh, sappy little bit there, let's uh, get on to the last official tutorial for... Uh, Libs Disguises, because all previous tutorials are going to be deleted after this video is released. Just letting you know, this is the absolute most official way to do things, and I do not want to confuse players. So, let's go ahead and get on into it. So, as always, you are going to want to create a new mob. So, you need to go into your Mythic Mobs folder. So plugins, um, mythic mobs, mobs, and we're just gonna make a new thing here. As you can see, I've got tons of stuff going on already, but uh, we will call this disguise mob. Hopefully I don't already have one under that name. Oh, we're good. Okay, so, and as many of you noticed, I changed my notepad plus plus layout. Um, hopefully this doesn't mess with uh, many of you too much. This is just so much easier on my eyes because I have to... There's a lot of stuff that I do both for class and other reasons that I have to stare at Notepad++ for long periods of time. So I really like my dark layout that I have going on now. Um, yeah, I recommend looking up tutorials on it if you use Notepad++ too because it took me a while to figure out. But anyway, I digress. So let's get back to our mob here. Uh, we're gonna, actually, we're not even gonna give it a name yet. We are going to find a skin that we like, and I'm trying to think. Yeah, here's some that I got saved up here. So, mm, we're gonna pick, uh, we're gonna go with the, uh, we're gonna go with the dragon, actually. So, what we are going to do is... You are going to need to do a few things first. So, one thing you're going to have to do, um, what you can do actually, you can use your launcher here to pretty much upload a skin. As you can see, I have several skins picked here. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Actually, no. What I am going to do, just to try to keep it consistent, is you need to log into Minecraft. Minecraft.tools. By the way, this is a super helpful website. This is in no way endorsed or advertised, but since we're here, look up Minecraft.tools. Very helpful place for a lot of things. Um, so we need to go to Minecraft.net. And here we are going to log in whenever it loads. And I'm just gonna take a second to log in to my alt account. So once you're logged into your alt account, you are going to find um, a tab over on the side which will say skin, realms, and billing info. Here we can upload a new skin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find that skin file. There it is, okay. So for example, so you're gonna go ahead and click it and you're gonna hit upload. Sometimes you might have to wait a few minutes, but after you do that, you can type in a thing up in your uh, search bar called Minecraft UUID. And here, mcuuid.net is the perfect one to go to. Because here we need to get our username. So if I'm using my alt account here, it should, yep, it has that dragon skin that we uploaded. So what we need to do from here we need to go back into our notepad file, or sorry, 
our disguises file, which I don't think I told you, but you need to open up libs disguises and go into your disguises.yml. Now here at line eight, we um we actually have a example here. And what we're gonna do is actually at line six, we're gonna go ahead and copy the entire end of this line here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that, we're gonna open a new tab and paste it there, but we're not gonna hit enter just yet. So one thing we need to do, we need to grab our UUID and paste it in right here where these set of brackets are. All you have to do is just click once on there and then control C, control paste it there and hit enter. Here, I just got a really long list of stuff but as you can see for our disguises we have our value and we have our signature so you're gonna go into our disguises folder and I'm gonna have you guys copy and link this um, this code here it will be provided in the description and I'll also if you guys want to go and just use this link if you want to type it out you can I'll also put that in the description for you guys but what we're going to do, we're going to just go ahead and call it, uh, we're going to call it Black Dragon. This is going to be our internal mob name. So next, we're just going to go ahead and put two sets of quotes, Black Dragon. Um, you don't always need these, by the way. Say, um, say the mob name was only one word, you wouldn't need quotes, like if it was just dragon. Um, but it's best to just have it anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and put and eight black dragon. That way it's kind of a dark gray. Um, okay. So if you scroll over in the code, I provided a few things. One is going to be skin signature. Now to get that, we're going to take this long line here. Don't include the quotations, by the way, everything inside of it. So from the Z or whatever yours will be all the way to an equal sign or whatever yours will be. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it here. Make sure you include these when highlighting because we need to get rid of them. So go ahead and do that. And after we get the signature, we're gonna scroll right until we find texture value. Again, copy everything inside these like greater than and lesser than brackets. Highlight your entire value here. Copy, paste and go ahead and save it for rest of letter there. Nope, okay. So you're gonna go ahead and save that. Um, make sure you're paying attention to what your mob name is because this is what your mob's name go is going to be. So since it's called Black Dragon, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it over to my mob file and paste it. Now we're gonna do type zombie disguise type and then black dragon. This is how we keep it consistent. Okay, now that that's set up, we can just kind of go ahead and just, you know, do everything else. All the basic stuff that you always see me doing, so. Everyone, so, crew. Yeah, you know what, that'll be fine for now. So now if we go back, what we're gonna do is we are going to reload. And we're also gonna reload Libs Disguises. So, uh, Libs Disguises reload. Okay, so now just to make sure our disguise is in there, we're gonna type disguise black dragon. Yep, just like that, have our disguise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type slash u, get out of it, and we're gonna spawn in our mob, which we literally called Black Dragon. And there it is. Like that, we have our skinned mob. This process may seem really lengthy, but I promise as you get used to it, um, it'll, it doesn't really take too long at all. I'd say it's probably about a five minute process depending on your internet, but so your head's on like backwards there. 
Um, but otherwise, it's not it's it's not a bad process at all, and I don't think it doesn't usually take that long. So, if this uh, tutorial helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to join my community and ask myself or anyone else in there. Uh, we have a lot of active help in there, and we also have tickets for private files in case you don't want to share a file with somebody because you're afraid of like someone stealing it, uh, someone else like taking the you know, whatever else the credit for it, yada yada. Whatever the case, we have most of what you need in the Discord, so make sure to check it out. Link will be in the description below. Once again, make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.